Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today we're going to be decorating my social media monthly layout for July. We've got, um, I use the monthly layout planner, so we've got the monthly layout here, the monthly dashboard layout here. We also have checklist that we, uh, that I use as well. And then we have some lined pages. We're not decorating every single page, but several. I did add one more page to the planner for last month. And what I added was this other monthly layout because I needed a place to, to plan all the releases. So I use this one to plan out when videos are gonna post. Originally, I had been putting like new releases in like a section on the monthly layouts, uh, dashboard layout and that just wasn't enough room. And so I added this page in. This is just a filler page from the Happy Planner. It came in, to, in a Be Happy box, the Grateful Be Happy box, I think um, a year or two ago. And so uh, I use this to plan out all the new releases. And so I will date it and decorate it just a little bit and it goes in the section as well. The, also, the other thing I wanted to mention is I don't decorate all of these pages, so it will decorate this layout this layout and this layout and then we'll add a little bit of decoration here and so what i'll do is actually i'll take this out because we'll use this page and then we don't need um i'll insert this here is where i keep that so that's what the the section will look like in my planner once we're finished so let's go ahead and get started i'll show you the stickers that we're going to be using i'm excited because we're going to be doing a disney princess spread we are incorporating stickers from summer allure from live love posh along with some um, tangled stickers from the Disney Princess Happy Planner sticker books and I just I love tangled it's actually my favorite Disney movie of all time and to date it still is so um, I have never made a tangled spread or at least I don't remember if I've made one but I have these stickers here and then I also have a couple of uh, other Disney Princess sticker books pulled that have tangled in it but this um, 459 piece sticker book has like all decorative it's my favorite Disney Prince, Disney Princess sticker book from the Happy Planner because it has just all decorative stickers while these are filled with lots of boxes and quotes and different things. Um, so we might incorporate some of this, but we're definitely using these. And then the stickers that we're using from here are the watercolor. I think they're actually pretty close to the front. Let me find them. Oh, right here. I just thought these would be really pretty with the purples and yellows and pinks and that they might would coordinate with these tangled stickers and be really cute spread. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and boxes are coming from this sticker book. So there's yellows and um, purples and stuff like that. And then we also have boxes in the Disney Princess. So we'll kind of maybe make a, co a combination of boxes from both, um, both styles. All right, so I like to start with the monthly dashboard layout because I like to use my favorite stickers on here because I spend most of my time on this page in the, uh, in the spreads. And so I wanna go ahead and do this one first. I'm gonna go ahead and move these out of the way. And we will start with using this largest, oh, we also have this page. So we've got this page and this page of all the different stickers. And we, we won't use all of these, but we will use quite a few of them probably. So I'm gonna start with uh, this one and get this one down on the page, just because it's the largest sticker that we're gonna be using probably. And we can put this down and then we'll add in some florals. And I'll kind of explain to you how I use the layout as we decorate. So um, let's white out that and this. And this. Uh, we're gonna white out all of these. <laughs> okay. Let's put this here. And we're not gonna stick it down all the way. Actually, I don't want to 
I don't want to lose any part of her hair or the frying pan. So maybe, maybe we'll put it down here and kind of move it over into the punches just a little bit. So we still get all of the, all of the sticker. Kind of like that. That's cute. Um, but yeah, I'll explain to you as we go through what I use each, you know, section for and, and everything and how it works for me. So we put, we, we took a tad bit of her hair off, but I didn't want to take the end of it off. Uh, before we cut this apart, um, let's go ahead and do some florals. So... Like I said, the florals are coming from the Summer Allure Live Love Posh sticker book. This is the newest sticker book from Live Love Posh. You can use my code Amanda10 to save 10% at Live Love Posh. It's, uh, there's an affiliate link down below for you. The uh, link for Happy Planner down below is also affiliate. I actually just recently picked up another copy of the Disney Princess sticker book, this one right here. I picked up another copy for really cheap because they had a, a big sale and then they had additional percentage off. And so I was able to get it for like $6.80, I think. Here it is. It's the new cover, but it's the same sticker book, the 459 pieces. Um, so yeah, and it's not falling apart like my other one, but I went ahead and bought an extra copy because I just like these stickers so much and I knew if they didn't, you know, make that sticker book anymore that I might would want another copy of it. And I bought also a few of them for presents for Christmas. So I did a little Christmas shopping during that last big sale they had. I think they might have a sale going on right now as I'm filming this. I don't know. I haven't really checked it out too much. Um, so... But you just have to watch. If you sign up for their emails, they'll send you an email or text when sales are happening. If you sign up with your, your cell phone number and you can kind of keep an eye out. You also earn rewards through the Happy Planner if you shop and sign up for rewards that you can use towards other products later on. And so that is actually a good way to get, um, I like to use my rewards to get new items because I don't like to spend, you know, I don't like to pay full price for stuff. I like to get it on sale or clearance. And so I will a lot of times use my rewards towards new items that, you know, I feel like I'm not paying full price for. So that helps a lot too. All right, so let's add in the, the, the tower. We have to have, ooh, ooh, ooh. We might save this for the monthly because it's not gonna have as much room to decorate. So I'm gonna hang on to that, but we are gonna use that. All right, let's bring in the sun and possibly we'll put it here. That's really pretty. And then maybe some more flowers. Them here to cover up this white out kind of like that I use that darker color to cover that white out up so I have a daughter she's grown now but she of course loved Disney movies growing up and I've always loved them too and when I was a kid and so I still like them and I still watch them sometimes especially with like my nieces and nephews so um you know and we'll go out we'll go to the theater to see you know the new ones when they come out so um yeah you don't ever get too old for Disney <laughs> and we've got Pascal here we could add him we'll put him right up here with these flowers Let's grab some more florals for over here. We could leave that. Sometimes I cover it up. But let's see what it would look like if we covered it up with this. Well, I don't know. What if we put these down here? I don't really need this section since I added that new release calendar. 
So we're gonna put that there. And then add maybe something else from this Disney sticker book. We'll put like the little lantern and that'll help cover up some of that white out. Well, before we do that, let's do, we'll do the little paint palette because that'll help cover it up a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to the lantern. I do wanna use it. Let's grab it, uh, go ahead and put in some boxes. So in the Spring Allure, we've got all those solid colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull, actually, you know what? We don't have a large box in these sticker books, like the double, and I need that for my um, YouTube stats. I do use a, a box like that. Let's see if we have anything in here that is bigger. Probably not, because I think that Happy Planner sticks to the, oh, oh, oh. Well, they're like that. That's the size I need, but I don't need it to be filled in with decoration. Okay, let me find a box sticker that's gonna match these. I've got plenty of boxes. I'm sure I can find something. Okay, I think I've changed my mind on my boxes anyway. I'm gonna use some stickers from the Pastel Functional Boxes Bundle from Mojo Jojo Plans. It is still available, I think, um, in her shop. It just released and she did a pre-order for it and then it came in at the, uh, around the middle of June, I think they came in and then they were shipped out once the, um, uh, so all the pre-orders were filled, but I believe she still has these on her website, so check that out below. It is a uh, box set of the series one through seven of all pastel boxes, y'all. So I think to lighten up the spread, I don't wanna use the darker colors in the Little of Posh sticker book. I wanna use some boxes out of here. So I'm gonna have this off to the side and then um, just also to show you really quickly the way that this works on these uh, series boxes is that each book is a, a size. And so like the first one is gonna be like the smallest. Let me show you really quickly. It's gonna be the smallest box sticker, those little header boxes, and the largest is gonna be the um, uh, the bigger boxes. And so they each, they go in size um, up from there. And so this is the long box one, that's series seven. Um, series six is the uh, wide boxes, the double boxes. And so um, that's what I'm gonna be pulling from for box stickers because these colors I think will work really well with these stickers. Um, so let's go ahead and grab this purple box from series uh, six. And I use this for my YouTube stats. And we'll put it right down here. Like that. I'm not gonna stick it all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and pull in my header stickers for my um, revenue and for these habit trackers I use, um, I put my revenue here and over here I do the uh, YouTube, I put, uh, I track YouTube videos like when they post, um, Instagram post, when they post and then comments, when I go back and reply to comments, I track that here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in and we're just gonna use the boxes from here. So. I think the pink is gonna work. So let's bring in a pink, a pink box here. And I wanna definitely use one of those purple boxes over here. And then we probably could try to find a yellow. Let's see if the yellow works. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. I don't know. Maybe we could still use the yellow out of this sticker book. That's kind of bright though, now that I'm looking at it. Okay, hang on, let's see. Maybe we don't need to use the yellow. Maybe we could use a green. Oh yeah, the green's cute. We can use this color. I just noticed something. That page is um, the wrong size. That is too funny. <laughs> um, that's probably a printing error if I had to guess, because that's this book is all little boxes. So that's kind of funny. I could move that over to the other book. All right, so, you know, I've had other times where, like if I'm looking through a sticker book, it'll have two pages of one, like it should be one page and it's two, so I've gotten like extra pages. 
So I don't really complain or, you know, I don't get too disappointed if there's an error because they're, you know, they're not all gonna be perfect. Typically they are, but um, every once in a while you'll have like a print error. And sometimes it could be the color, you know, discolor it a little bit. Um, but I think that Mojo Jojo Plans has worked with her printer to prevent that from happening because I think what was happening when she first started creating sticker books is that the printer wouldn't print them all at the same time on the same printer and the colors would be off just a little bit on some of the boxes. And so, you know, she didn't want that. She wants all the colors to be the same throughout the book. And so she worked with her printer and that has not been happening. So, you know, it's, um, it has not been an issue for a long time, but sometimes on those pages, you'll get that. We do have some yellow boxes in here um, that would work. So let's grab um, a box down here for Instagram stats. We're gonna layer this box with this one right down here and I'm gonna actually white out that purple underneath because it's pretty dark compared to that white kind of like that oops okay that's really cute um, the other thing I use up here I will like layer some boxes oh I know I need to do that box but I will layer boxes up here to put in like stats for like the most watched video, the most liked Instagram posts, things like that. So I can kind of, you know, keep up with what, you know, is working well um, and that kind of thing. And so I'm gonna grab, um, Oh, another thing I could do, I'm getting sidetracked you guys, is I could pull um, a decorative box in over here. I bet that would cover that up. So, what do we wanna do? Mm, what if we do this live your dreams? Oh, it's barely not big enough you guys. But you know what, I don't care. <laughs> gonna do it anyway or actually we could bring in some um, we could bring in some flowers next to it to cover up the lines so we're gonna do that I'm just deciding on if I want to use this or one of um, Rapunzel by herself I like this one too but that's pulling in gold foil I don't think I want to pull in the gold foil so I think I'm gonna use this one Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and white out this side. And then we're gonna stick this down, but not all the way. Let's see if I can figure out if it's gonna cover up the top and the bottom or not. I don't know. Probably not. Actually, I'm gonna put it down upside down and see. Um, no, it's a little bit off, so I'm gonna actually white out just a little bit more off of the top here. And then we can bring it down a little bit. A little bit more. We can bring it down and put flowers behind it or something. Kinda like that. So now I need to white out the words that are gonna show. <laughs> like that, okay. I'm just gonna do, a, I think I'm gonna do a couple of smaller clusters. another one to kind of bring it on down what is that what do we think about that I think it's okay I don't love how the greens are connecting right there but I think once we cut it it's gonna be fine
yeah, that's, that's actually cute. I might need a little bit of something right there because that white out is coming out and then it's got like a gap. So maybe we can use this one. I'm gonna cut the blue off. Okay, yeah, that fills it in perfectly. Okay, all right, let's keep going. The, um, I need the box here. I think I wanna use the green. So let me grab one more of those. That's out of the series one. And it's the um, darker green color. So. And like I said, this is for revenue. And then really quickly, we're gonna grab a um, few boxes to layer here. I didn't explain to you the different books I had from the Happy Planner, so let me show you that really quickly. Um, I showed you this one, the 459 piece with just the decorative stickers. I've got the 384 piece um, colorful boxes, but it's for Disney princess colorful boxes. So it's all box stickers that are decorated with the princesses that match what's in these books. And then this is like a little mini, um, or not mini, but mega sticker book. Um, it's a double size that came out a few years ago. It's 1155 pieces. It's the regular classic size. And then there's also a mini version. So like if you uh, want smaller stickers. There's like smaller boxes and things like that. Um, this is just a combination of decorative and boxes and like, you know, decorative boxes and things like that. So that's the different sticker books I've got pulled out over here that I'm pulling from. I'm going to go ahead and add a, um, a box sticker here though before I move on. And it's going to, look. let's do a, let me see if I have a yellow one from the box sticker book that would work. don't and a lot of them have the gold foil which I don't want to bring in so we're probably not going to use anything from here so let's just grab a uh, a purple one and we're just going to use the dark purple I'm trying to find the page I've already pulled from I try to do that so that I don't have a bunch of different pages with stickers missing, but I don't usually succeed. <laughs> and actually, I'm changing my mind. I want to use a, um, a bigger box. Let's do the next size up. It's the Series 2, and it's the little bit of a uh, larger box sticker. Okay, and I'm going to use this for just like a note section. Since I changed my new release um, area, that's going to be like for notes. Okay. Let's keep moving. I need to cover this up. This um, this also needs a box sticker. <laughs> Yosh, I, I'm just kind of scattered on this one already, Anna. We're going to put that here. Okay, perfect. So this is for just, um, oh, uh, this is for PR task. So this will be for notes. Um, so let's do that cluster over here, as I mentioned before. Get that finished. So you can take these that have like the tombstone shape and cut them off and use them um, as a square box. If you just kind of bump this up against or layer it with another uh, box sticker. So we may do that to bring in some of this yellow without the gold. Um, we also have this uh, box sticker. I'm not gonna grab that out just yet. Let's go ahead and pull in a few, um, let's do, let's see, series five are the full boxes. So 
So I'm going to bring in a pink one. And we'll put that here. Like I said, I use these just for like different stats and things that I want to remember. Or like if certain kind of videos are doing better than others, things like that. Um, and this has got to be, this has got lines on it. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to put it. Um, I take that back. Let's, let's layer it with this one. Like just a little bit. I don't want to cover up too much of the yellow. And then let's bring in a, like a purple box maybe um, above it. Maybe like um, this size. And like kind of layer it with it so that... No, I don't like that because I don't like how it's like on the... But if I bring it off the edge of it just a little bit, it'll work. Mm, not quite a hundred percent on that. I'm gonna change it up. Okay, we're gonna leave the pink box there. I'm gonna bring this one up and over to the side just a little bit. Kind of like that. And then we can put like a header sticker on it. How about that? Maybe a green one. And then, yeah, that works. And then I can layer off of it one, this purple box. Okay, and that'll just be from, from extra stats. So that works. It's not the best, but it's fine. All right, let's grab... I think we're pretty much finished with this page. I do want to add in a little bit more of the flowers though. Um, so let me do that really quickly. I've got this corner one here that we can bring in and layer um, with this box. So before I do that, I'm gonna bring the box corner up and then we can I think it'll work well. Kind of like that. Yeah, that works really well. Okay, I think we're finished with this page. Let's move on to the monthly layout. So that is this. And I definitely want to pull in the, um, the tower. So let me do that really quickly. That was in the 459 piece sticker book on this page. So I think also I'm gonna bring in this Rapunzel and we're gonna have kind of like this going on over here. So do we want the tower up here and Rapunzel down here or kind of like that? Or I could put the tower over here, Rapunzel up here. Yeah, that might be better. Let's go ahead and put his, put the tower over on this side. It's really skinny and doesn't take up a whole lot of room on the boxes, so it works out really well. Okay, I'll trim that up in just a second, but we're gonna put Rapunzel coming. I don't wanna cut her hair off, let's do but I don't want, I try, I'm trying not to cover up the days of the week, or the, excuse me, the dates. So, let's put some flowers down in the corner. Ooh, or we could put this all down the side. Let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and white out the notes. These are sized perfectly for something like this, so. It's cute. And see, these are paper, and so you can kind of layer over it without any trouble. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Let's put her right there on those flowers. And then 
I'm going to tear this page out of the sticker book. So I'm going to go ahead and use these up within all these spreads. So that way I don't have to keep flipping through the book. And then we can put Pascal over here, put him down there. And then we can take this Make Today an Adventure and put it just right here in this empty box. And let's grab some flowers over here. And again, these are coming from the Live Love Posh Summer Allure. Just gonna layer those down there. And we'll put these with it, kinda like that. So in my experience doing Disney spreads, I like to incorporate some kind of a floral with all the Disney artwork. I think it just really adds to the spreads and um, I like doing that. So let me know down below if you do that or if you just use the Disney stickers. Um, either way would be fine. I just, this is just how I like to do it. All right, so I think the only other thing I wanna do on this page, one thing I wanna do is add some flowers up here in this corner. And we've got all these down here, so we need to definitely have something up here. And we're going into our second page on those florals, but that's okay. I'm not using the really big ones, so like you've got these smaller clusters, or excuse me, smaller flowers, and then these match, but they're larger flowers. And so I'm gonna actually maybe save those. I'm just using the smaller ones right now. So we'll bring this cluster up here. Let me make sure I didn't do the same thing on that other page. I did. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. I totally did. It's the same exact sticker. So we're gonna actually change our mind on that. We're gonna hold on to this one and use a different cluster for that corner. That is so funny. Let's do, let's do this one. that and then we can use the extra pieces to, to decorate more around the spread and I'm not cutting all the way straight I'm gonna cut that at that clear part so I still have a piece I can use and then this one will still be fully um, intact as well as a matter of fact thinking about the uh, Disney and floral spreads my very first YouTube video was a Mulan spread, and I used some Live Love Posh florals to make that spread, so that's funny. I didn't, hadn't remembered that, but kind of goes back. So I'm going to bring, let's, oops, let's, um, I'm going to bring these up here. And then, I think I'm just gonna hold on to this little piece. I don't, I don't think I need that right now. We need a little something up here with the, as far as florals go. So we've got some scraps over here that I can use. So we'll bring in a few of them across the top here. Gonna trim this one up. Maybe kinda like that. And then let's get that other cluster back out and we'll bring it in over here as well. And I'm just gonna use this one because it kind of curves around that July and brings those flowers on down. Okay, so now I need to decide, am I filling in our little gaps here? I might be. Let me put this back down and then bring in these little flowers here. So we'll put the purple one here. Well, no, not quite like that. We're gonna bring it in kind of like it's butted up against that pink so it kind of continues on just a little bit and brings that a little closer to that edge. And then 
we're gonna take this actually this other piece of that purple will work right here and it works because I've got pink and pink and so I can put purple in the middle okay that works let's grab um, the sticker book let's see what else we have on that other sticker sheet I don't really need to do anything in the middle because I actually write in a lot of the, the days and then I'll use highlighters to, um, you know, um, um, cover up those that I put. I'm going to add in this little flower right here and then maybe this one that's the little, uh, that's the flower that, you know, makes them young or whatever. So we're gonna put that in as well. We'll put that in kind of down there. What else? I think that's it for this spread. Let's move on to the checklist pages. So we've got our monthly, our, our dashboard, and then we need to do our checklist pages. And then let's go in with another Rapunzel. So I like this one with the lantern and with Pascal. And so I don't usually do a whole lot on this spread. I will uh, label these at the top and then I'll, um, I don't even really use this column for much. So I'm gonna bring her in. Let's see, she would be standing straight. So I'm gonna put her kind of like that. And he's coming in so that that's why he's crooked, okay. Let's grab uh, some boxes so that we can put our headers up here. A white out daily task. And I use these for different things. So like this I use for like a list of videos. So let's grab a pink box for that. Actually, let's do a purple. It's darker, so let's put it on the end. I know rhyme or reason, I just, it just makes sense in my brain. <laughs> That covers up that white out. And then we'll do pink next. And we'll put green on the next one. Okay, so I didn't finish telling you. I use this for videos. Um, this is a to-do and then this is like a next month category so I can you know things that are coming up I can make a note of and so it helps for that Okay, that works. So what else do we need? We need to, we need some decorative stickers over here. We need some flowers. So let's see what we have here. We've got scraps we can kind of incorporate. We'll put this over here by Rapunzel. And then we can bring in some flowers up here. I'm not gonna try to put a whole lot of stuff on this page. Um, just because this video is getting super long and I don't really need a whole lot of decorations over here. But um, let me, I'm having a hard time getting this sticker out. Let me get a hold of it. Actually, let's just bring the page, pull the page out. Uh, Love with Posh sticker books are perforated, so it makes it easier to get those pages out. And the stickers are a little bit thicker and they're easier to get out, but I still use my tweezers every once in a while. All right, so. Let's put this here. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna layer it with this box. Got another cluster of florals we can bring in up here. I'm gonna layer with the purple box. Let's 
do let's do the crown we'll put it here and then we can also go in with the rest of these or a lot of these rather I want to put that I think I want to put that lantern over on another spread because I already have one on this spread there, the little sun we'll put here, and Pascal's already on this page, so we might save him. Just putting these little flowers around. to use up some stickers y'all little sparkles it's cute and then this little cluster can go over here on that little box there okay so I think we're pretty much done with this one um, there's another couple of little sparkles we'll use those with that okay all right, so we're done with this. Um, let me go back in real quick. Oh, we still have to do that little monthly spread. We'll do that too. Um, but also, I want to add in these, this lantern over on this page. Um, put that right there. Okay. Uh, let's go and finish this one now. The um, This is the one I just used for the... Um, the releases and so I need to look at the dates on the calendar to see what's going to be empty so um, the first is on a Monday and so that means I can start here um, I'm gonna go ahead and just write those dates in and I'll just fast forward through it so now we can see where we can decorate um, let's bring in so I have a, I have more um, Rapunzel stickers in the other sticker book. So let's see what we have. Um, the only thing is, is in this one that's got like the decorative, it's got some clear Rapunzel stickers, which that's fine. We can use those. So they're, they look like this. So I think maybe I'll bring in this one down here. And then... That might be all we need from there. And then we can bring in the rest from, well, no, that's okay. We'll just keep using the clear ones on the spread. And then, um, let's bring the sun in, maybe right up here. Let's bring some flowers in. We've got some more little scraps here we can bring in. We don't really need the year, so I could cover that up and put some flowers up here. Let's do that with uh, one of these. Like that maybe, and then with the Pascal. We had a Pascal, um, let me see if we have another one. Oh yeah, we have this one. We'll put him up there. Actually, I'll move the sun. We don't need it right there. He's cute. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, I'll put, the, I'll put the sun right here, kind of off the page just a little bit. And then we'll bring these flowers in right up here above the month. And we'll just write in July. So let me get a pin for that. Pretty much 
much it unless we want to bring in some more little like florals down here in the corner, which we could. You know what I also should write on is that that's for new releases. Also write in new releases out beside this. All right, that's good. So I think we're done because we can leave this open for notes or whatever. And so, yeah, I think we're done with all the spreads. So let's just do a little recap real quick. Let's see, we didn't use um, these pages. Well, we keep that one. We didn't use this page. I just keep those for extra in case maybe I wanna use those at some point. So I have, let me put them in order. We're gonna punch them. I'm gonna put them in the planner and then we'll kind of go through them really quickly so you guys can see them all together. Okay, so ignore the red, white, and blue disc. Um, that's for 4th of July uh, for the month or whatever. But um, here's our monthly layout. And this is our monthly dashboard layout. Here is our checklist layout. And then we come over here to our new release calendar. And then the rest of it is just empty unless I use it for notes or whatever, which I do sometimes. And then, um, so yeah, that is our... That's what, those are our spreads for our month of July for the social media planner that I use to track all the, you know, videos that I put out and everything like that. Just a really fast recap on the sticker books. We used all the different Happy Planner sticker books for Disney Princess. And then we used Summer Allure from Live Love Posh. We used those florals. And then boxes came from... Um, Mojo Jojo plans, pastel boxes, um, just different ones. We used a series one and two. I think we used four. I don't remember exactly, but we used several of these. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I know this video turned out to be a little bit long, um, but we got a lot of the uh, spreads done. So I hope you stayed with me. If you did, thank you so much. Use my code Amanda10 at Live Love Posh and Mojo Jojo plans to save 10% on sticker books um, at those stores. And then Happy Planner is also an affiliate link below. You can use that and it does help my channel earn a small commission if you use my affiliate link so thank you so much to those of you that do that again thank you for hanging out with me today i hope you liked this video if you did go ahead and hit that like button we'll see you next time bye